Hi guys, welcome to another morning English podcast. I am Sunny, and today I'm here joined by me, Day. You guys already know me. <laughs> so, what is our topic for today? Well, let me ask you a question first. Sure. Are you on your winter vacation now because you're a student, a college student, right? Yeah, you could call me a student. Yeah, I just I just finished all my finals. Yeah. You finished all your finals. Yeah. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. I'm sure you're a straight A student, right? Yeah, except failing for every other subject. <laughs> yeah, I'm a straight A student. Okay, so today's topic is quite practical for students. Oh wow. Well, it's about how to call. Different students by their academic performances. Wow, that topic is really not boring at all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey. 嗯，其实我们今天的主题就是来聊一聊如何称呼别人学霸或者是学渣，根据他们成绩啊。Hello, welcome to Morning English. 早安英文呢是一个为大家免费提供英语教学的频道，每天都会更新。如果你想获得关于英语，听说读写的内容，我们都会在这个频道更新。我们的目标是帮助全球的华人学好英语。如果你觉得还不错的话，记得给我们订阅哦。另外，点开小铃铛，这样的话就不会错过其他任何学习视频啦。对了，如果你想获取本节课的完整版笔记，在视频简介或者评论区领取哦。你也可以给这个视频点赞，点赞就相当于自动保存啦。Usually we have some students. They perform very well. Like me, right? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe they can be called as straight A students. Straight A students.、Mm-hmm. Straight. S T R A I G H T.、Mm-hmm. Straight A. 其实我觉得这个很形象 I think it's quite 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 ex- explanatory. If you get straight、yeah, A's, that means like you... straight A, like A A A. Exactly. Which、A's. which I never get. So yeah, moving on. Yeah. So I got this one. It it, it is called. High achiever. Wow, high achiever. This sounds familiar to high flyer. A high flyer. Yeah, I think they, they all mean the same. They mean、like. the same. They mean a person who has potential to do something, like a lot of potential, or、yeah. someone who has achieved great success. 嗯哼，嗯，其实这个 achiever， 嗯、呃，就是说有成功、有成就的人，或者说，呃，另外一个跟他很像的一个词语叫做 high flyer，、mm-hmm. 就是说一个人他志向高远，然后获得了很棒的成绩。那么这两个单词也，这两个表达都可以表示优等生、学霸。嗯、呃，对于这个表达，我们可以这样使用，比如说 Jack was such a high flyer in college。I don't, so, I, I don't think so. So, as his classmate, was he? Uh, 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 nothing, Jack. If you're <laughs> listening to this, she she pressured me to do this. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the meaning of high flyer. Yeah. 嗯，那么其实，在学霸之中呢，肯定会有这样一些同学，他们非常的热爱学习，我们可以叫他们学习狂。那么在英语中，他的表达就是，嗯，其实也很直白了，叫做 study holic.、Mm-hmm. Study holic.、嗯、if you put Alcoholic, alcoholic. We already know what alcoholic、mm-hmm. is. If you use the word "hick" in a, with another verb like or、holic. noun like studyholic,、mm-hmm. workholic, workaholic, or shopaholic, <laughs> shopaholic, it means someone who is addicted to something. 嗯，其实在这个 holic， 呃，结尾的单词呢，它就是表示什么什么狂，非常的 addicted to something， 就是非常的。对某事非常着迷，嗯、呃，所以说 study holic 就是我们常说的学习狂，啊、呃，或者说这个 work holic 就是工作狂，嗯、呃，再或者还有一个什么 alcoholic， yeah alcoholic， shopaholic， shopaholic， caraholic， anything you guys want. Yeah, I'm definitely a shopaholic. Yeah, you look like a shopaholic to me. <laughs> so I know another word which has the similar meaning as study holic.、Mm-hmm. Well, this word is called Wonk, W O N K. So this word is a little bit different. I don't know if you if you know this or not. This word is is often used in a derogatory way. Wow. So is it someone who fixates on something? Like he really fixates on studying and just keeps on talking, talking, talking、yeah. about it. Yeah. So let me give you guys an example for this. Wonk.、Mm-hmm. No one wants to listen. To a wonk for two hours straight. I, I have, I really have those kinds of friends who talk for two hours straight. <laughs> 嗯，其实 wonk 这个单词它也是表示学习狂，但是这个单词有一点点的
负面的含义在，它是指一个人有点钻牛角尖，有点只知道学习的那种。嗯、呃，比如说，我们就可以使用这样一个句子：有，如果说有一个人他非常的执着于在你面前讨论学术问题的话，你就可以对他说 ：No one wants to listen to a wonk for two hours. Yeah. Now we've talked about wonk. We've talked about straight A student. Now, what if you are very, very talented? What if you are so talented that people just call you a prodigy? Like extremely. Like extremely like smart, like Sunny. She's a prodigy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a prodigy is someone who is very, very smart in a specific field. Like he has exceptional talent or powers, not superpowers, but like a like math、power. prodigy. 嗯，其实我们，嗯，这种成绩特别特别好，特别特别聪明，你觉得他以后一定会成为 be someone？ Yeah， 你就可以说他是一个 prodigy， 学神 ，P R O D I G Y。嗯，比如说我们上大学会有各种各样的专业嘛，比如说我常常就听到什么什么什么系啊，有一个学神，比如说 a math。Prodigy,、mm-hmm. 一个数学的学生 or an English prodigy, or and anything <laughs> prodigy. I'm a Chinese prodigy. No, I'm just kidding, just kidding, guys. Okay, so we've covered straight A students,、mm-hmm. high mm-hmm. achiever,、mm-hmm. high flyer, wonk, study holic. Yeah, I don't know. It was, it was prodigy. Yeah, prodigy. Now I want to talk about、uh, some other students. Who are not really into studying? Like that's me. that's me too. No, <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Just now, we've already covered the words "bad" and "bad." Now, let's come to the words "bad." Well, like me, I wasn't really into studying, so I can say that I was an idle student. I don't think you were an underachiever, though. Like you. Yeah, I wasn't quite an underachiever. I mean, my academic scores are quite. You know, normal, but I wasn't really doing anything when I was in college. So, can we explain the word underachiever? Underachiever means that you are, you go. You don't achieve much. You don't achieve much with your life. I mean, like you really have no achievements. Like high achiever is someone who always su- is successful and does、yeah. all that stuff. Well, underachiever is you're under. Them. Yeah, you have no passion to be honest. Yeah, 嗯，其实这个 underachiever 就是作为，嗯、呃，可以说作为那个 high achiever 的反义词，就是表示学渣。那么像我读书的时候呢，我就是典型的不太用功读书的。我当时有一点点虚度光阴，我就可以说 I was an idle student. I D L E. Idle， 它表示虚度光阴的，无所事事的。I wasn't really doing anything. I don't know what I was doing, but well, it's not. I can't remember. I can't re- really remember that. It's not. It's not bad. <laughs> as, at least you didn't fail the classes. At least you didn't fail. Yeah, I wasn't an underachiever, but I wasn't a high achiever. I was in between. You were. You. You was in between. I. 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 Let's move on. Let's、mm-hmm. move on to a word which is used as an offensive slang.、Mm-hmm. The word retard. 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 I mean, retard is also a medical condition. Where retard is someone who doesn't have a brain. I mean, oh my god, it, that's it, stupid. Yeah, it is mentally mentally challenged. So this is an insulting to someone, right? Yes, people will find this very insulting when they they are called retards or anything. I don't. I really don't think people should. To joke around with this word because it's 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 pretty offensive to say it to someone else, and it's you're making fun of someone else's condition. It's just too much, too much. Yeah, I think we better not use this to make fun of any you know disabilities. Yeah, let's let's just move on from this word. Hmm. <laughs> Actually, 刚刚我们讲这个单词叫做 retard, R E T A R D. 这个单词它是表示。嗯，有一些人他可能是身体上的、物理上的有一些，头脑有一些不发达。嗯，这个单词是非常的 offensive， 所以我们不要把它用在一些同学的身上，这是非常不好的。嗯嗯，其实关于今天这个话题呢，我还想跟大家分享一个表达，叫做 blue stocking。So do you know what is blue stocking? Blue stocking, I think it's. Blue stocking. It's a blue stocking. Girls <laughs> wear them, but I think the other meaning is a an educated, intellectual woman. 
Another yeah, intelligent you're woman. really smart. Oh, thank you. I'm I'm a, I'm a blue stocking, but I'm not a woman. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 其实可能所有人看到这个 blue stocking 的时候，就以为是蓝色的袜子。其实不然，这个单词还这个表达还是表示 an intelligent and well educated woman who spent most of her time studying. 嗯，就是表示那种。很聪明，很睿智，嗯，受过很好教育的女生。其实这个表达的起源是在很久很久以前，好像是十八世纪。如果大家感兴趣，可以去查一下。那么大家也知道，在很多年以前呢，人们都提倡什么“女子无才便是德”。所以说，像这种 well-educated woman is therefore not approved by some men， 就会被有些男人就会觉得，干嘛呀？一个女的读这么多书，会有点。不太支持他们，不太赞许他们。其实我觉得也不是这样的。我觉得现在这个社会，我们女孩子就是应该自立自强，多读书，读好书，说、yes. 好英语。Yes. <笑> Thing. Yeah, I know. I know what you were saying. I know all of it. Like, I don't agree with what most yeah, like, men say. Girl power, right? Sure, feminism. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, we talked about educational stuff today. Now you know what to call someone in class who gets every time、mm-hmm. an A, or you can know what to call someone who doesn't want to work or doesn't want to study as an underachiever. Hello. Welcome to Morning English. 早安英文呢是一个为大家免费提供英语教学的频道，每天都会更新。如果你想获得关于英语、听说读写的内容，我们都会在这个频道更新。我们的目标是帮助全球的华人学好英语。如果你觉得还不错的话，记得给我们订阅哦。另外，点开小铃铛，这样的话就不会错过其他任何学习视频啦。对了，如果你想获取本节课的完整版笔记，在视频简介或者评论区领取哦。你也可以给这个视频点赞，点赞就相当于自动。So I guess that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for listening. I'm Sunny. Watch today. Bye. So, bye bye. See you guys next time. See you.